Hi guys, Mrs G back again with some more math reasoning practice. These questions are about measurement. How heavy, how long, how much water something holds. Let's go. Can you remember the units that we measure in? Hmm, length. You might use your ruler to measure the length, how long something is. Can you remember the letters on your ruler? That's called a unit of measurement. Can you remember? It's a C and an M, but what does that stand for? That's it, centimetres. Well done. Can you remember what is longer than a centimetre? And the word is inside that word, actually. And 100 centimetres is the same as one of these. And it's a very long ruler that we have in class. That's it, metres. Well done. Now, capacity, a very big word. It just means how much liquid something can hold. How much water, how much juice, anything that you can pour capacity and if you can't remember this is why mrs g is going over it don't panic i'm training you guys i'm not testing you okay so capacity milliliters well done and larger than a milliliter is a liter i remember liquid and liters it starts with an l well done now height is the same as length so we can measure height in centimeters how tall something is or meters well done Last one, how heavy something is, sometimes called the mass weight. When we got the weighing scales out, can you remember what we measured mass or weight in? Have a think. Can you remember? It might be a while since we did this, so I'm here to help you. We measure in grams, or that's for light objects, or kilograms for really heavy things. Okay, so length, centimetres, metres. Capacity, millilitres and litres. Height, centimetres and metres. Weight, grams and kilograms. Let's have a go at these questions. Number one, how much does the bottle hold? Match the correct label to the bottle. And we've got a choice of two centimetres, two kilograms, two litres, two metres or two grams. Liquid, lemonade actually, lemonade and liquid. Which measurement would we use? That's it, litres. All you do is draw the line. Well done. Number three, we've got some containers here with some liquid in. Sort the glasses from the least full to the most full. Which one has got the least amount in? That's it, B. Well done, cross it out so you know. Now I would go to the end of this line like I would in a number line, just so I don't get mixed up. Which is the most full? Which has got the most in? That's it, A cross it out and then go back to after B which has got the least in now C or D that's it D cross it out and then C must fit in that box well done great ordering fantastic okay number two Ravi walks through the front door of his house a door is quite tall isn't it tick the height the door is most likely to be one meter, two meters, five meters, ten meters, or one hundred meters. Now, one meter is a meter rule. You can hold that in your hand. I don't think a door is that tall. And a hundred meters is far too tall, isn't it? Okay, so I think a sensible guess would be two meters. Okay, quite a tricky question, that one. Number four. Put, we've got four towers. Tower A, Tower B, Tower C, and Tower D. And they're all different heights. Have you noticed that? Put the four towers in order from the tallest to the shortest. One is done for you. So this time we're going to the top from the tallest. Which is the tallest of those towers? That's it, Tower C. Let's put that there. Okay. Then go to the shortest now. Which is the shortest? I'm just going to tick Tower C so I know I've done that one. Tower... <clears throat> We've got Tower A and Tower B to choose from because they've already put D. Which is the shortest out of Tower A and Tower B? That's it. Tower B, so I would put A would come next and then B is the shortest. Well done. Number five, Anne measured the height of these two dolls in blocks. How many blocks taller is the large doll? Okay, so this is like when we look at bar charts, guys. At one point, they are the same. At one point, they are as tall as each other. Draw a line. Now, to work out how much taller the big doll is, we just need to count how many extra cubes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
nine blocks taller. Well done. Six, use a ruler. So sometimes you might use be asked to use a ruler in a special agent task to measure the length of the toy car. And okay, so let's get a ruler. And to measure something, we put the end that starts with a zero at the beginning of the object. And to read it, we draw a line and see where the object stops. And there should be a number there. And the car is, that's it, 10 centimetres long. Great measuring. Oh, some more measuring now. Number seven. The lines show the lengths of some models. Two of these models are the same length. No guessing here, use a ruler to find them. Okay, so you won't have four rulers like Mrs. G is going to show you, but a good idea might be to write how long each one is. So let's start at the top. Yes, let's use my ruler and let's put a little circle where that one ends. So that dinosaur is five centimeters long. Let's measure the next one. Get my ruler out, start from zero. That dinosaur is six, so they're not the same, are they? Okay, what about this dinosaur? Ooh, four and a half, so not five. Don't let that trick you, okay? Putting a circle or a line will really help you read it. Bottom dinosaur, five. Ah, okay, so we've got a dinosaur at the top is five. Let's give that a tick, and the dinosaur at the bottom is also five. Great measuring. Number eight, reading scales now. How heavy is Peter? And each little line is called a division. And what they like to do sometimes, like they do on number lines, which we're going to have a video on, they give you some of the numbers and you've got to work out what each of these little lines, what number they represent. So Peter is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can count in ones here, which helps because I get to 20 from 15, okay? 21, 22, 23, 24. Well done. Ooh, another scale to read. Ravi has a kitten. The scale shows the weight of the kitten. How much does the kitten weigh? So it's going around in 100s and it's got a little division in between each 100. Halfway between. Do you know what half of 100 is? That's it. Half of 100 is 50. So each little division going round is worth another 50. So we've got 200 there and another 50. That would be 250 grams. Well done. Last question, number 10. Abdul goes to the zoo. He finds out the mass, how heavy some animals are. The cheetah is 58 kilograms. The tiger is 94 kilograms. The lion is 94 kilograms. Compare the mass of the animals. Oh, we've got Charlie Croc here to see us. Greater than, less than, or equal to, the same as. Charlie Croc only eats the biggest number. So let's read the words. We've got the cheetah, 58 and the tiger 94 which number is the biggest that's it 94 so charlie croc would eat 94 we would need to use the greater than sign there okay oh sorry that's not the greater than sign is it silly mrs g it's an l on its side that helps us remember that that is less than the cheetah is less than than the tiger. Silly Mrs. G. Okay, now we need to look at the tiger and the lion. The tiger is 94 and the lion is 94. Oh, they are the same. Which math sign do we use when their numbers are the same? That's right, the equal sign. Well done, special agents. Leave me a like if you'll be tuning in next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.